gas training, unsafe cookers, unsafe boilers, and badly, badly installed plumbing, um, blocked plumbing pipes and blocks with sludge, etc. Loads of stuff in this video. My name's Alan Hart, and today I'm, I've got some pictures and some videos from some subscribers. Um, a big thank you to Elliot who sent these first pictures, videos in. Um, yeah, let's have a look at these. Once again, I'd like to thank Elliot for sharing these pictures with us of dangerous boilers and cookers, flues, and also some um, gas leaks as well. We'll have a look at that shortly. This is a Baxi Potterton, our main heat only boiler. And if you can see there, it's not been sealed correctly, the combustion door seal. And it looks like it's melted the thermostat housing there. And then if we have a look at this picture here, we can see how it's corroded all the side of the boiler. If you could add some comments below, let me know what you think of this video, of this, of these pictures. If you're a homeowner watching this video, please get your boiler serviced. It's very, very important to have your boiler serviced. If you're a gas engineer, or if you're a plumber or a trainee, uh, please come and join us on our new group that we've got on Facebook. It's called Plumbing and Gas Training. It's for new starters into the industry, just to help them out and just just give them a bit of support really um, because I don't feel that um, they get that much support let's go let's have a look at some more of these some more of these pictures this is a gas pipe and it been nailed with nailing clips to the wall in a cellar and the pipe has corroded and it's leaking gas out of the pipe or it was leaking gas out of the pipe so it just just goes to show that you must use the appropriate clips um, for gas pipes and that be like the wraparound style clips the talon clips or something like that he'd gone to check the header tank with this one and as you can see there the tank the tank is growing so it's certainly the system needs needs flushing out and obviously all that tank needs cleaning so what did you think of that tank? Uh, please add a comment below. I mean, some of the some of the things that we see in this job is just unreal. Um, if you want to know more about backflow and, and things like that to do with water regs, there's a guy on, on Twitter called Captain Backflow. He's called Paul Daly, really good friend of mine. Um, in fact, the first video I ever seen on YouTube to do with plumbing was his video. And he was sort of like my hero then, um, many, many years ago that. Um, but yeah, check him out. Um, let's have a look at some more of these, some more of these videos. This is just an example of a really badly sludged up heating system. I've personally witnessed this lots and lots of times over the years. And even, even with new boilers, a lot of the time the systems are not flushed correctly so you need to make sure that your, your system is clean and you've got some inhibitor in and, and, and your boilers will last longer if the system is installed correctly sludge is definitely um, really bad for a central heating system and you need to make sure that you flush the systems and you do a good job at flushing them in my opinion that's the most important part of the job. The actual the actual boiler you choose is less important. Flushing the system is more important. Uh, if we just have a look at this boiler here, this is a Worcester Bosch boiler, and that's your kebab style heat exchanger. And if you look at that, it's in a right mess. Now I would I would suggest that that is probably down to how it's been installed. The system has probably not been flushed out very well. I've only got this picture to go on, so I can't really, I can't really tell. But that's most of them that I've been to. I've been to quite a few heat exchanges like that, and most of them I've been to. It's been down to the person that's installed the boiler, and it's not been flushed out very well. 
let's have a look at some more of these pictures. And this is just an example of bad workmanship, really. Somebody soldered it and they've left all flux running down. It's corroded the top of the boiler, no clips on it, and it just looks just looks a total mess. This is a gas cooker and the engineer went out to do a landlord safety check. The customer had actually put a towel over the front of it so that the engineer wouldn't notice. So just always be careful and make sure that you check you check that appliances, any appliance really, but just check that they're not damaged at all. But clearly that's that's smashed is that gas cooker. Some bad plumbing now. The engineer that went out to this was called out to a water leak. And if you can have a look, if you can see on there, it's just got silicone sealant all over it. Whoever has installed this, they've just totally bodged, just totally bodged it up. Obviously they didn't have a clue what they were doing at all. So just a total bodge of a job. Obviously that was DIY. I mean, that worked really, really bad. Um, just take it apart and do it correctly or pay somebody to do the job correctly if you don't know how to do it right um yeah um this next one this is a this is a boiler flue it's a vertical flue going up through roof and sometimes these would be um hard to see but this one is actually damaged you, you need to look closely with this but it is actually damaged so it's always it's always um a good idea just to go outside and if you can try and inspect the flue as well you see there it's it's a right mess and this is just a question that's a condensate trap on the left hand side why on a stainless steel heat exchanger does the condensate trap go brown or like an orangey brown we've just got a few boiler flues now so this is a combi boiler flue and from that window it should be 300 millimeters and obviously that's too close to the window and this is just another one it looks like they've took out the old water heater balance flue if you have a look at windowsill there you can actually see it's all warped is the windowsill this one just shows a flue up in a loft if you can see there at the top it's actually got some strap band on there and obviously that's not the correct clip for that flue also there's probably not enough clips for the length of flue so that's also something just worth checking i've purposely missed some of the faults on that flue so what i'd really like is if you could put some comments below and list any of the faults with them flues also any other faults that you might see with flues as well um just so we can help other people that are watching this video um yeah let's have a look at some more just been called out to a gas leak it's a soldered joint just must have cracked there's no clips or supports on any of the gas pipe on this so clearly, if it had been clipped and supported and soldered correctly, then it wouldn't have leaked. With this one, I called out to a water leak and water was leaking through the ceiling. Really, really bad. If you have a look at this, this is a MagnaClean filter. And what, what I believe has happened here, if you have a look on the side of the filter, I think the glue from that fitting has weakened the filter and then the filling loop on the boiler has been left on and then over time it's it's damaged it and made made it leak it's not something you see um often i've never seen that before to be honest there was definitely a lot of damage on this job and the electrics the consumer unit is just below where the water was flooding as well we've got a We've got another header tank picture on this, also a bit of a video. If you can see there, the, the header tank is actually growing. And it's really, really bad. 
obviously this system needs a good clean out needs a good flush and maybe some chemicals adding to stop that fungus growing again but that that is really bad what have you learned in this video please add a comment below and let me know if, if you have if you have learnt anything in this video um, that'd be really helpful um, what I've tried to um, show you is one your boiler needs to be serviced each year and then also to new recruits into the industry and to plumbers and gas engineers if we install systems correctly then the last the last longer and almost all these um, bad jobs in in this video could have been avoided if more care would have been taken on the installs almost all of them um, yeah if you like this type of video please let me know if you're if you're a trainee um, please click below um, and go into our new group that we've got for for gas engine uh, for plumbers um, trainees for trainees really um, and it's there to support trainees so because a, a, well a lot of the groups or people say a lot of the groups if a trainee adds a question they get sort of like dissed and they don't really want to ask questions but that group hopefully will be so that trainees are able to ask questions and th there will be no silly questions we, we we want to all share knowledge and help help you new guys into the industry or even people that don't do a lot of gas and maybe they're out of date a little bit uh, hopefully that could help you as well in there um, yeah I, th I think that's it um, thanks for watching so what are you taking out there then now Richard this is the this is the burner yeah, yeah. and what's the what's the other bit in the middle there this bit here is your heat exchanger. Yep, that's it. You've been watching some videos, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs>